Welcome to your Sunday One Video Shave of the Day! Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. If you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave and all things straight razor related, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos, that way you won't miss a thing. My one word is heart, and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're going to get better. In this shave, I'm using my Fine Edge Osti So. Yeah, this is just a beautiful original razor from 1920, made in New York City. That is solid in German steel. It is a full hollow, all original, and it is marvelous. Just a fantastic razor. Now for our soap tonight, we're going with Stash Soap Works, and this is Sunday morning. This has just got a fantastic scent. I will have the full scent profile down in the description for you. I have had that blooming. We're going to pour off that bloom water and put it on as a pre-shave. Yep. Now. Yeah, fantastic scent on that. Mm, really nice. Now, put on that bloom water as a pre-shave for my brush tonight. We're using the Grand Bamboo. Oh yeah. This is a 30 millimeter black and white tuxedo knot for Maggard razor and that is real bamboo really nice now i'm going to get that wet it is synthetic so we can just get that wet and we'll be good to go yep all right let's load that soap up yeah hopefully you are having a great weekend yeah no matter where you are no matter what you're doing Hopefully you are having a great weekend. Yeah, being able to relax, enjoy yourself, possibly be with family and friends. Yeah, that is always good. Even if you have to distance, you can still be with family and friends in a manner. Yeah. So this last week was my father's birthday. So that is good. Yeah. And they are doing well back in Oklahoma, which is good, yeah, and hopefully you are well, mm-hmm, hopefully you're well, staying safe and healthy, taking care of yourself, and hopefully, yeah, you're getting some good shaves, I hope so, yep, so I think we are pretty much there, I have made a mess, like usual, on this bowl, right on the label even that's too bad because these labels aren't waterproof I will have to kind of try to keep that in better shape and I'm going to get that out of the inside as well if I can my goodness yeah we're going to just put that on the face while we're doing it yeah I think the brush has got quite a bit on it so we're just going to put that on the face, get that label cleaned off a little bit, yeah, very nice. That has the scent profile on it there on the side, which is good. Like I say, that will also be in the description of this video. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, what a fantastic scent on this soap. Really nice. Yep. Now, get those hands dried off. And let's get our lather on. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and work that up. Yeah, this is definitely a lather machine here with this brush. Mm-hmm.
Now, this uh, is the wet brush technique, and you will see water coming off that brush. That is perfectly normal. That's part of the deal. Yep. Nice, 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 nice. Now we're going to just keep spinning that brush. Trying to keep the lather on top so it doesn't fall off. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Yeah, this is excellent. So it can really take the water. There you go. Nice. Yeah, that is good. All right. Now this is pass one, and for me, primarily, that's going to be with the grain. Let's do this. That is so good. There we go. Now yeah, get that that soap off of that razor. Yeah. Nice. Very good. There it is. Got it. Want to miss that mold? Wouldn't be good to have an accident. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Now we're going to switch hands, get this other side. There's those two bumps. Yeah, raising that spine about a spine width. Off of my face getting that 20 to 30 degree angle which is a proper angle for shaving with a straight razor that'll be your optimal between 20 and 30 degrees and if you're going against the grain 
it'll be slightly less as well. one complete yeah now let's get that rinsed off see how we did I think it is good yep all right that is good good beard reduction we do multi-pass shaves so keep that in mind that was primarily with the grain now on the second pass we're going to go primarily against the grain. Yeah, and this will be a two and a half pass shave tonight. Yep. We're going to keep rotating in the one and a half pass, but tonight I thought let's go for a full two and a half pass shave. Nice. We're going to get just a little more water on that. Dipping those bristles in the water on the, in the sink. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, buddy. That's good. Yeah, I know that 30 millimeter sounds like a crazy big brush, but it is fantastic in a synthetic knot. I really enjoy it. And just really does a great job with the lather. Now, this is pass two, and for me, primarily, that's gonna be against the grain. Let's do this. Very nice. Yeah, stretching just by the way I'm holding my mouth and my face there. Now we're gonna switch hands to my offhand. This is my non-dominant hand.
Nice. And hit a little bump right there. Let's put some soap on that, just like that. Do a little preemptive strike. It will be fine. There we go. Nice. Nice. May have missed just a little bit on that one. Here we go. Now, find these bumps so as not to hit one of those. See if I can be a little more careful on this side. There we go. Nice. go oh yeah buddy good stuff all right pass to complete now Go ahead and see how we did. Oh yeah. Oh, cheeks are brilliant. Yep. That is good. Yeah, it is. Go ahead and get that face dried off. Now, time for the half pass. This is going to basically be just my jawline and my neck. I've found that works really well for me, the way I do this. Now, it is different, all right? And pretty much the way my beard grows straight back here is against the grain on both sides, more or less, all right? So this may be something that will work for you, but you will have to figure that out on your own. There we go. There's that. And your hair may not grow the same way mine does. And you may be able to find another way to do it than this. All right. Here we go.
reaching down, stretching. Nice. Get that off of there. Now, get that blade cleaned up. Here we go. Oh yeah, nice. All right, another shave in the books. Yep. And I think it was a good one. I do. Now let's get that cleaned off. All right, that little bump I hit, gone, no big deal. Yep. You could almost say there were no bumps harmed in the filming of the shave video, but maybe a little bit. We're going alum straight up, all right? This is astringent and antiseptic. And really good if you hit one of those bumps. It'll help seal off any of those little bumps you hit. And it will tighten up your skin. And you will be in good shape. Yeah, you will. Now, get that going. Now, I just pat that dry. Just like that. Now... If you can't do alum straight up, go ahead with a cold water rinse followed by witch hazel. And in my case, I'm going Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. This is fantastic. This is lemonade for the face. So good. And just smells like fresh squeezed lemons. It's, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm, what a fantastic scent. Which I think works well with that soap. And I do put that everywhere. Now, for my cologne aftershave kind of thing, here we go. I am going to go with Tabac Original. Yes, I am. This is going to really work with that soap because it has got a tobacco note in it right on top. Mm hmm. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, that's so good. And we're going to top the shave off tonight with Nivea Cooling Post-Shave Balm. Taking care of that skin, really important, especially after straight razor shave. You need to take care of your skin. Don't neglect it. It really is better if you take care of it. Oh, nice. That is so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Excellent, excellent. 
Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click over here to see my Barber's Home series. May be very interesting and help you take care of your razor. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.